Alrighty guys, we do have a box. This is from David. It does say open this side, so um, I'm gonna flip it around since it's written this way. I'm guessing it wants to be open this way. I just hit my light too, did not mean to do that. Actually, let's turn on this other light. I don't know how much that helped, but helped a little bit. Let's, uh, let's crack this guy open. A much bigger box than I was expecting, but that's all right. I like big boxes. Whoa, don't damage the goods. And this is cool. We got a purge trooper thing. I love that. We have a letter here that says open off camera, so I'll open that off camera. Alrighty, so we do have some figures in here. Looks like we have... <laughs> uh, we have Rick and Morty. That's awesome. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. That was my, mess, my best Vorty, Morty voice. Should I go out first? Should I go out for Morty? Oh, oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> okay. Uh... I, 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 should I even attempt the Rick voice? There's li there's literally everything in space, Morty. That's all right, not bad. But we got we got Rick and Morty. I love these. I've never owned Rick and Morty figures, so uh, I love both of these. And they're like in space outfits too, which I love. I'll have to find some place for these because those look awesome. Continuing, there's some more stuff in the box. Do have both of these. Open this, please. Gamer and Monster. So I'll have to open these here in just a second. Now read this. So I'm going to read this real quick. I don't know if you guys saw that. Now read so this. So I actually, I think I have to open these first. So. Ooh, Clone Blaster. Love to see those. And this is Monster. Oh, the green, blue, and pink. I love it. It's a Luke Ness Monster Custom. That's sick. Awesome. You'll have to go with the rest of my customs. Looking awesome. I do apologize for the lighting. My lighting is not the best today. Mainly because I accidentally bumped into them and they're all over the place. Alrighty, so now we have Gamer as well. Another awesome blaster. Ooh, and it's the reverse colors, too. I love that. That's so cool. That's awesome. I love how those turned out. That's, that's super dope. Awesome. Thank you, David. And here is uh, the letter here. If you would like to go ahead and read this, you are free to. It's a lot of words, though. So you guys can pause and read it if you'd like. I already read through it once, so uh, yeah, pretty cool though. And this was at the bottom of the box titled, Oh, and One More Thing. It feels like a Black Series figure, so we'll see. <laughs> You've just been holdoed. This is awesome. I love this. I think I have to leave the sticky note on. Like, I just can't even take the sticky note off. Yeah, the sticky note's staying on. I'm not even taking... It's just gonna say, you've been holdoed, and that's it. That's awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that holdo is definitely gonna stay in the box, but I wanna go ahead and I wanna open up these Rick and Morty characters, because these look awesome. Uh, where did my knife go? Right here. Let's, um... Yeah, you know what? I'm not saving the package for this. Let's just crack this guy open. All my inbox collectors are screaming out in terror. Here's Rick, Space Rick. That is super cool. Who makes this? Doesn't really say the brand on it. Um, does it say on the box? Funko? These are Funko figures? That's so cool, I didn't know Funko made figures. We got Rick. And uh, let's crack Morty open here, too. Uh, 
And uh, here's Morty as well, looking awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, David. I really, really appreciate it. That is awesome. Alrighty, guys, so we do have this box here from GameStop. Let's crack it open. And finally, we have it. If it'll come out of the... It's Scorch. In uh, all of its plastic-free packaging glory. So, yeah, look at him here. He looks incredible. Number 18 in the line. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do my review since he's already packed up here. I'm gonna have to do my review first before I even get the box open. So I'm gonna go ahead and film the review and then I'll go ahead and unbox him for you guys. Alrighty guys, so we got our intro for the Scorch review filmed. Now we can go ahead and crack him open. So there's two pieces of tape. And it should just open right up. And obviously, there's no plastic tray to pull out. We now have the cardboard tray, I guess you could say. And we do have Scorch and his body bag here. So first, we do have accessories here, as well as Scorch. So here he is, looking really good, I gotta say. Scorch is by far the best-looking Delta Squad member that we have in the line. This guy looks incredible. I love that they did include the extra pouch here. Love the love the darkish blue gray color up here, as well as the yellow. Like great detail all the way around. Let's go ahead and get this open. We have his blaster, which again really really tiny for a commando blaster which is unfortunate but i love the detail they have like a little white bit right here as well as the different gray accents looks super cool and we do have the brand new backpack mold for this guy as well love the little back to back to things i'm not really sure what they are but it looks super cool i love the detail really glad they decided to go ahead and make a new sculpt for that now setting this guy up here putting on his backpack I, I love how this figure looks. Let's go ahead and get them all ready to go. Holy crap. I was just taking a shelf dive. This is open. Alrighty guys, so we actually just got in the Mafex C-3PO and R2-D2 2-pack. This thing looks incredible. I've heard from various people that the R2 is great, but the C-3PO kind of sucks. But I know the C-3PO looks great. And so because of that, I decided to pick it up. It looks really, really awesome. And uh, I saw it on sale, so I could not pass it up. It looks great. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open first. I gotta kind of film an intro to review, because I think I'm gonna release a review on this set, so... Yeah. Alrighty, so we got our intro filmed. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. There is one piece of tape on top. Something holding this thing in because it's not coming out. Am I missing something? Or what's, what's going on here? I don't know what's something holding this thing in. There's a piece of tape. There we go. Oh man, it completely tore the box taking that tape off. That sucks. Oh well, what are you gonna do? We got this guy out of the box. Does have 
looks like an instruction manual as well as a figure stand pretty cool and of course we do have the figures here too we're kind of taking this off carefully we do have some accessories here so i won't try to take them all out of the box at once but obviously let's get the figures out first oh my gosh this guy has some very very loose joints we have the c3po looking incredible this might be something i have to handle with gloves because um he's very shiny and i don't want to leave a ton of fingerprints but i'm already doing that so we're gonna go ahead and set him down Next up, we do have R2-D2. I'm dropping, dropping this communicator there, which I don't want to do. So pulling R2 out of the package here, he also looks incredible. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. And then, of course, he does have the uh, droid like cup dispenser with, of course... All of the drinks. I think that was the main reason I bought this set, because I really liked the Jabba's Palace kind of uh, R2-D2. And of course, we do have the communicator with the hand that can hold the communicator. So I am going to go ahead and actually put this in his hand. And we also have the Leia hologram, which I really, really like. So let's go ahead and get everything all set up. Well, one thing I really love about this R2 is uh, with the Black Series one, you have to like twist the head a ton until it like screws its way all the way out. With this one, you just click it and pull it and it's out. If you want to put it back in, it's that simple. Real wheels on the bottom too, which I really like. So, uh, yeah, really, really nice looking R2-D2. I love that a lot. I know there's a way to take this top piece off so you can actually get down to uh, this in there as well, but I'm not really sure how to do that just yet. But loving, loving that feature. Alrighty, so we do have R2 with this thing on, and I think it looks incredible, but I gotta figure out how to get the drink dispenser on here, so... I'm going to take this off. It just kind of clips right on. So nothing too weird, but I believe you should... That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. It looks like that just pops right off. I think it is interesting too. It does look like it's hollow in here. So if you wanted to install LED lights to make this thing light up, you could. I'm not really sure like why they didn't just paint this, but I think LED lights might be the way to go because it's just kind of clear. But then what you should be able to do is push this out from here. Pretty simple. And then this just goes right in like so. Doesn't click in super tight or anything, which is a little unfortunate. But then I guess it just kind of slides right back on. No, that's not right. Do I have to line up the holes maybe? Um... I don't know. Alrighty, so I did get it back on. You just kind of have to line up the holes. So we can go ahead and slide this thing on like so. And then this just goes in over the drinks like this. So uh, yeah, that that's kind of really cool. I like that. that. This might be the way I have to display R2 because I really love this drink dispenser. And I know Black Series is doing a new one for 40th Return of the Jedi. So I think it depends if that one comes with a drink dispenser like this, then I'll have to display it like this. But um, if not, then I'll probably do like it is on the box here. But I love that. I love the the detail. I love the weathering. This guy, this set looks incredible. Like aesthetically, it's super pleasing, but articulation, especially for C-3PO, is not the best. I think that this R2 is great, and it, like, alone, this entire set might be worth it just for the R2, but this C-3PO is kind of a pain when it comes to articulation and posing. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.